Welcome to this virtual field visit from Al Haq, one of a series highlighting corporate complicity in the exploitation of Palestinian natural resources and the illegal Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. This video focuses on the exploitation of gas reserves. Both Israel and the State of Palestine have large gas reserves in the Mediterranean Sea. In 1999, gas deposits were discovered off the coast of Palestine. This gas field, known as the Gaza Marine, is located within the contiguous zone attached to Palestinian waters. The field is also predominantly within 20 nautical miles from the coast, and so is located in the area designated under the 1993 Oslo Accords as open for fishing, recreation and economic activities. As such, shortly after its discovery, the Palestinian Authority leased the Gaza Marine to the British Gas Group for development, as well as the rest of Palestine's maritime zone. However, Israel has forcibly prevented any access to the Gaza Marine by imposing a lethal naval closure of Palestine's maritime zone and occupying the Palestinian continental shelf. Israel has unilaterally imposed a six nautical mile coastal limit and routinely tax, injures and kills Palestinian fishermen found sailing beyond it. 106 attacks were documented in 2014 alone, resulting in 16 casualties, including one death. The British Gas Group has also been denied access to this area. In 2000, large natural gas deposits were discovered in Israel's maritime space at the Mary B and Noah fields, bordering Palestinian waters. Part of Noah is located within Palestinian maritime waters and is known as the border field. It contains an estimated 3 billion cubic metres of natural gas. However, it is located in a narrow strip of sea which the Oslo Accords designated as closed to all except the Israeli Navy. This means Palestinians are also unable to access this field. The gas fields are operated by the US company Noble Energy, which enjoys a monopoly over Israel's gas resources. While the maritime closure ensures that Palestinian gas resources remain undeveloped, Israel, through its contract with Noble, has unilaterally exploited the Noah gas field geologically contiguous to Palestine's border gas field. This is contrary to both General Industry Convention and the Oslo Accords, both of which require joint cooperation for the development of contiguous geological resources. In a further development in 2005, Israel concluded an agreement with an Egyptian company to route a gas pipeline across Palestine's maritime space, from Ashkelon in Israel to El Arish in Egypt. According to international law, the El Arish pipeline is subject to the domestic laws of the State of Palestine, where it enters Palestine's territorial sea. However, Israel has employed severe security measures to protect it, resulting in further casualties among Palestinian fishermen. Israel's unlawful appropriation, exploitation and prevention of the development of gas resources constitute plunder and further breach Palestine's right to self-determination. By signing pipeline agreements to export gas from Israel's Tamar and Leviathan fields, which connects to the Mary B platform, international corporations, states and the EU will be effectively supporting and profiting from Israel's continued illegal closure of Palestinian maritime waters to secure its gas distribution network. Global actors such as the US and EU are willing to turn a blind eye to these abuses in order to promote an eastern Mediterranean energy corridor and therefore reduce dependence on Russia. In February 2014, Fishermen discovered gas deposits only two to three hundred metres off the Gaza coast. The deposits were subsequently verified through testing by the Islamic University. Considering its location, the potential new field could make gas accessible for development within the limits of the imposed six-mile Israeli maritime closure. However, the land closure enforced by Israel and Egypt makes it impossible to import the materials necessary to develop the gas infrastructure and ascertain economic viability. As well as systematically preventing the development of Palestinian oil and gas resources, in recent years Israel has also targeted and destroyed power plants and energy infrastructure across the Gaza Strip. Furthermore, Israel controls the Palestinian electricity grid through the Israel Electric Corporation and profits from customs collected on international imports of oil, gas, petroleum and fuel, collected at its borders but destined for the Palestinian market. Israel's control over Palestinian oil and gas resources is extremely lucrative. The occupied Palestinian population imports approximately 70% of its goods and services from Israel, including oil, petroleum and gas. 
By preventing the state of Palestine from developing its natural resources, the punitive conditions imposed by Israel on the Palestinian economy are impeding any prospects of sustainable growth. Through its policies and practices, Israel has made the OPT almost completely dependent, enabling Israel's national and private companies to profit substantially from the occupation.